So you'll see a little humidity dome like this. They come to two bucks a piece if you buy them on Amazon by the tin. Need some water. We need our rapid rooters. The process is really simple. Just gonna take a rapid rooter, which is already moist out of the bag, at least it should be. If it's not, that's fine. It'll fit right into here, perfectly into here. But before I put it in there, I'm gonna show you how, well, it's in there now. You can use a toothpick to get it out. I find that to be the easiest way to get out with the toothpick. But we gotta take our seed here. So it doesn't matter what kind of seed you're doing. But if you're doing like radish seed or something like that, you'll see one side will have a little hole on the radish seed. It'll be kind of a flat side. And the other side of the seed will be a pointy side. The pointy side you want facing up. Now you don't have to do it that way. Most seeds you just drop in here, they'll be fine. Um, but radish seeds, put the pointy side up. Just gives them a little bit of a chance. I just like to put them. Sometimes you might have to push the hole or push it into the hole like this with the toothpick. And you want it to kind of go into the hole like that. If it's a smaller seed, it'll just fall right in there. Just like that, it's like pretty much covered by the hole. You might be able to see it poking out a little bit. And that's all you do, pretty much. Then you take your water, you can add some colossal pea to it and it helps them grow healthy, faster, faster roots. Just put like one milliliter per a 16 ounce bottle or seven milliliters per gallon. Go ahead and pour this on here. Just a little bit of water, it only takes a little bit, just like that. You do that with every seed and then you wanna put some extra water in the bottom. Let it seep through the holes, just a little bit. You don't need much. A little bit extra water. And then you wanna check on it every day just to make sure that water is staying in there. Make sure it's staying nice and humid. And then you want to take the cap and put it on there. Now I sometimes just leave it completely closed or I might open this just a little bit, just a crack. Just give it a little, little crack. See there's all the way open, there's all the way closed and then just a little bit open like that. Or you can leave it all the way closed. I like it just to be a little bit open. You take this, put it in a nice warm area, 80 to 85 degrees. If you don't have a grow room that's warm like that or area that's warm like that, then what you can do you can make a little box for your seedlings. You can literally make a cardboard box, put a tiny little heater in it, and that become, and then put the light in there. You only have to have a, just a small little light. That becomes your seed propagation area. Or put a heating pad underneath this, a seedling heating pad that costs about $13 to $20 on Amazon. Put this on top of that inside your grow room, good to go. Within about two to three days, this will be, this seed will pop up and out. If it's a radish, within two to three days, boom, it'll be up and out. Some other species take longer. Some of the vegetables take longer. You know, a shallot might take a week, might take four days. You know, some other things might take a lot longer. Um, there's certain vegetables that might take a week, sometimes even two weeks. But a lot of them will pop within, you know, three days, so. Well, they'll be growing out of there within three days. Then after that, you can pretty much set it and forget it because you're done. I mean, check on it every day just to make sure it's staying humid and moist. If it starts to dry at all, just put a little bit more water in the bottom. Good to go. And don't forget, if you want fast, healthy plants with healthy roots, use some colossal pea or use some well, I don't have the bottle right here, but check on perfectsunled.com and check out the Root Growth Platinum. 